Yeah guys, so I almost died. Night nice guys, welcome back. Thank you for visiting the channel again. It's nice of you. Kind of a weird thing to bring up for a video idea, but I actually almost died. As a matter of fact, it was so close. I'm lucky to be making these videos. I'm so lucky. <laughs> anyway guys, yes, so when I was in primary seven, I believe. I think it was around the time I was either 10 or 11 because I would have been the youngest in my class. Although the tallest, I was the youngest. But it was the craziest experience of my life. It also could have been the end of it. Yeah. So next door to me, which is my brother's room now, used to be what we call the spare room in our house. So at that time, my room was being painted. So that's this room right now and Mama Striker's room was being painted. Me and Mama Striker were staying in the spur room. For a few weeks up to this night, I was actually complaining about having a pain. Right here, that's where your appendix are. That's where mine were. I actually banged my stomach off the corner of a table, which inflamed my appendix. Kinda crazy, but yes, almost killed me. Who says doinking your stomach off a table can't take you out? So, staying in with Mama Striker, went to bed as usual, Still felt like it was sore. I just thought it was wind. I thought it was going to do like a massive fart and everything was going to get better. So went to sleep, stomach was so sore and I woke up in the middle of the night and I tried to move my legs and my legs wouldn't move. So I was now lying in bed wondering why my legs weren't working. It was fucking scary. I wasn't able to move my legs at all but the more I tried, the more this pain was building that was shooting up my side, like the whole right hand side of my body and up the side of my head. So I thought I was having a stroke. So I was like, I'm dying, I'm dying. But the pain was so sore and I just started screaming. <laughs> right now I'm in complete agony. Mama Striker's panicking. I can't move. I think I'm dying. She thinks I'm dying. Then she calls Papa Striker. Liam is dying, he's dying, he's dying. He's dying. So then the pain gets so sore that I then totally black out. Like I can't remember any of this except like I was black and in and out of consciousness. The next thing I remember, I like I like blacked out after the call and then I wake up and then Papa Striker is carrying me down the stairs and I was a heavy kid and Papa Striker was still carrying me down the stairs. Carried me out to the car and then when we got to the car he opened the door. Instead of sat me in, I was in pain anyway. He lifted me and threw me on the back of the car. Damn you Papa Striker, damn you. I black out again, I wake up and getting carried into the hospital. Uh, sat me down on the chairs in the actual lobby and then I black out again and then I'm being rushed to the operating room on one of those little beds I'm staring at the ceiling and looking around me like oh shit I'm dead I'm pretty sure I'm dead at this point just rush me in at this point to tell Mama Striker and Papa Striker I'm sorry so I finally get into the operating room still feel the pain it is so sore I'm still kind of like fading out and coming back in just remember the surgeon then walks in and he had the coolest accent ever he was a Jamaican man and he says uh, about the gas and they put the gas in my face and I tasted the strawberries. I was like, oh god damn, this is delicious, but it hurts. But delicious. But it hurts. He's looking down at me, everything is moving in slow-mo. He says, don't worry man, you've got the doctor. Blackness. I then wake up, look to my left, there is a nurse sitting beside my bed and I'm like, Hey. She then looks at me and starts smiling. The Jamaican doctor that operated on me walks out, turns around and says to me, Liam, that was the biggest mess I have ever seen in my life. Uh, your appendix had exploded. He said that I am so lucky to be alive. How close was I to dying? All the kids in my school thought I was gonna die. So they all started sending me these uh, get well letters. And they sent me this massive one where everyone in the class signed it. To be fair, I just feel lucky to be alive. And make these videos for you guys. I had lost full mobility of my legs and it was so scary. Uh, basically, I was wheelchair bound, but there was this cool little guy in my ward. I can't remember his name, but for this video, say we're gonna call him Derek. Derek was suffering from an illness that had taken his legs totally from him. He's never gonna walk again, but he was my best friend in the hospital. Um, because I was in a wheelchair and he was in a wheelchair, he sat and he taught me tricks for the whole time I was in hospital. So he was teaching me how to do the wheelie and all in the wheelchair where you stayed up on the back wheels. But to finish off on a super awesome bright note, uh, because I was wheelchair bound, 
when me and Mama Striker and Papa Striker all had to go shopping, I got to use a wheelchair in the shopping centre. And boy did I get to use it good. I was doing wheelies and all up the aisles. <laughs> it was so awesome. Now guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up because it lets me know that you enjoyed it and to make some more. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along and see what's going on in this channel. And I also have a vlogging channel which will be down in the description. And as always, remember to leave a comment if you're feeling frisky. Adios, dork. Ah! Oh shit, I just sat my glasses. Get the thumbnail right now.